Welcome to Ram Report Sports. I'm Matthew Salter, here with star quarterback Danny Wershing and star wide receiver Dylan Schemlinger of the Heights Town High School football team. How are you guys doing today? Doing well, how are you? Good, good, good to hear. All right, to start off, Heights Town went four and two this year, which is the best season since 2007. What was it like having a restricted season under COVID? It was very different. You know, we didn't get to play the same amount of games we do every year. Played a lot of the in-conference opponents. Um, so it was different, but you know, we were just glad we got to have a season. Yeah, it was hard. I mean, we didn't get to prepare. We started September 14th. We had two weeks before our first game, but we were able to stay in shape over quarantine and workout. So it all worked out good. Good, good, good to hear. So you two connected on 222 yards and a touchdown. How did you guys create this chemistry? Yeah, like I said before, like over quarantine, nothing to do. We would just go to the park and throw like every day. And that chemistry just built up and it started It started back when we were kids and it just kept going and it was, it was good to see it pay off. Yeah, you know, me and Dan have been friends for years, so we've always been good friends, you know, always playing football together, going to the park, throwing the ball around. So, you know, it kind of just built up over time and, you know, it got on the field and it just really clicked. Very nice. As leaders going into senior year, what are you and the team doing in preparation for next year? Well, a lot of us have already gotten into the weight room ourselves, um, local gyms, working out, uh, getting bigger. And then we've also gone to the field sometimes uh, as a group of guys, working on our routes, making everything crisp and ready for the season. We're also in a seven on seven league that we play Sunday mornings against teams like Montgomery, Woodbridge, South Brunswick, those kind of teams. And it's just good competition to get us ready to see different looks and see how we stack up to good competition. How have you guys been doing in that seven on seven? Uh, we've only played one week, but we've been doing really well so far. Nice, good to hear. Continue on about senior year. Um, this will be your last um, year. Um, what do you guys want to achieve next season? I think the big thing for, for me and the entire team, I think we want to go to the state playoffs. I feel like we've been working so hard for that, and Heightstown really, Heightstown football hasn't really went to the playoffs in a while. So I think it would be great for the town if we were able to achieve that. Yeah, we want to start a change of culture in Heightstown. As we said, we haven't won a lot since 2007. So we want to be that team that sets us apart. Um, we want to get a banner up in the, in the gymnasium. You know, we want to have something that says that we accomplished a lot. Very good. Wanted well, on a fun one. Um, what was each of your favorite memories from last season? Um, my favorite memory had to be catching my first touchdown against Robinsville. You know, um, it was a big momentum play. Put the team, got the team really excited, and it was just a great feeling. I think mine had to be the first game against Steiner, the walk-off touchdown. I threw it to Kyle, and we ended up winning the game. And it was like it was just a big win. I feel like it, it just we were able to build off that win for the rest of the season as well. All right, that's good to hear. Thank you guys for your great insight on last year and going into next season.